people online right now uh, we have the great vc okay he's joining us so make sure you keep it locked okay so vc you there yeah so how are you today yeah man all is well enjoying some good weather for a change in london you know yeah the sun is shining the weather is sweet so well give thanks for life yeah man every time so for listeners out there for the people out there who is vc let them know well vc is is a musical artist who hit the scene um about early 2000 with the song that i just heard dj cat blazing up there a while ago by his deeds and um that that song that song really reached out all across the world and um over the years you know i've realized how, how much it has meant to, to so many different people um i will give thanks for that you know for i've been I've quiet for, for a while since then um raising family and just living life really and i've just finally now um after a long wait and after linking with some some critical people out here in the uk i've been able to to release the album that i always wanted to release you know yeah um album called jacent which which has 11 tracks that i'm that i'm very very proud of and that was put together in such a way where we're hoping that from his from his start play track one he went play it straight through to track 11 <laughs> and then just press repeat and play it again, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. So that was the whole goal in, in putting together this album. Okay. So why do you think By His Deeds was so popular, first off? Or well, is... I, you know, I, I, just, I just feel that somehow it's, well, first of all, I just have to say, it just works, you know? Cre- yeah. Creating a song that, that really touches so much people is like catching lightning in a bottle, you know what I mean? But it was just it was just written from such a place of truth and, and reality and was really just expressing things that I had seen and gone through in, in my life and that seemed to be all around me. You know, it didn't seem like it was a, a unique thing and um just, just being frustrated at how, you, you know, there was always people around me that talk a good talk, but when it came down to even the simplest thing, like being, a, being able to help a fellow human being on the street when I just did, yeah. asking for, for, for help with a meal, you know, and the, the amount of insults are worse that they would give back to these people. Mm. And, you know, it's just... just meditating on, on all of these things and I don't know, somehow my sister it just it does touch a nerve with everybody who, who listen it and I can't tell you that I know exactly why but we just give thanks, you know? It must be real if it touches so many different people. And it Yeah, well <laughs> that is that, that is what I want to feel, you know, and that is that is what I try to put into into every song that I record, you know. You you will find that I'm not really one of those songwriters who just can make up stories or just make up a song that does sound nice or whatever. But it, uh, they always tend to have some message or some story behind it that, that is that is real and at least real to me. Yeah. And it's usually based off of us what I see in around the world, so it tends to be real to a whole heap of other people as well, you know. For real. So I understand that you've performed on many different tours, events, loads of different shows. How? Have, yeah. Tell tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Well. Well. Again, we 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 give thanks, you know, because um. Even just based on that one song alone, I was able to 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 travel pretty much the whole of the, the United States, parts of parts of Canada, um, Europe. Um, as a matter of fact, right now 
is, is, is better I'll tell you the place that I haven't been to that I'm desperate to go to and that is the motherland Africa you okay. know that is that is still the place left for me to go to that I have not been to yet but you know, with your blessings, and if we continue to work, the hope is to get there soon. But, um, yeah, man, that has been one of the many blessings to, to, to travel beneath to Dubai. Um, the thing is, what a lot of people don't realize is that for, for a lot of artists, you travel to these places, and really the only thing you ever see is the, is the hotel and the, and the venue. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah. you, it's usually a, uh, in and out thing, so you know, um, yeah, you've been there and you give thanks. It's sometimes I'll say, All right, I did touch the place there, yes, but I need to go back yeah. <laughs> one away, friendly, <laughs> so you can really enjoy the place. But it's been a blessing to, to, to be able to say, At least you have, you have been to so many places around the world. Uh, the goal is to, to cover the whole globe. Uh, we consider ourselves citizens of the entire globe, you know what I mean? So we need right. to. We'll see what they're up to. <laughs> yeah, man. So, for the listeners out there, how do you, when you're on stage, how do you prepare yourself when you do go on a stage? You know, that is a, <laughs> that is a very interesting question because, because first and foremost, I, 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 I deal with the, the, the technical aspects. As a, as a singer, it took me a while to realize that you can't even know all about long chatting before you go on stage. It's not, it's not good for the voice. So I try, try to find a quiet space. Yeah. One where you don't have to feel in a way where you're not talking. And then, really, when you're in that quiet space, it's just for, I, I usually just try to be as appreciative of, of this opportunity that I am being given to perform. I just sit down calmly with it, try not to get too excited about it. And then, you know, it's just trying to keep all of that excitement in check just for when you burst out on stage. Once you, once I am on the stage, it's like all, all nervousness or whatever is gone. That is, that is like where I'm supposed to be. And it's just then trying to enjoy it as much as possible. Um, try and, try and connect with the people as much as possible. And, you know, Sister, the other thing to I just try to take the whole thing overly serious. Okay. If you take it overly serious and take yourself too serious, I don't, I don't think that is good. This is, this is just a, a just given opportunity to perform for people who want to hear me perform, and yeah. that is a joy. Yes, but it's, I don't, I don't take it too serious or hype it up or say wow or not. Just, just go out there and have fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Who's inspiring you at the minute? Well, the, in, the inspiration has, has started long ago and the, those who have been inspiring me from long ago continue to inspire me. And then there's new people that will pop up that, that, that have just started to inspire me now. So from, if you're thinking about from way back when, if it, um, when it comes to songwriting and delivery, Bob Marley has always been a major yeah. inspiration. Um, in terms of vocally, everybody from Dennis Brown to Luther Van Dross yeah, <laughs> has, has, has inspired me vocally. Um, right now, in terms of in terms of the energy that I see coming into reggae music right now, that really inspires me and gives me hope. Um, can't left out the bridging, um, protege, can't left out the bridging, chronics, yeah. can't left out the system, coffee, yeah. you know, we're, we're amongst those three, them really, um, give me a renewed hope for the future of reggae and Jamaican reggae, you know, yeah. um, really giving strength to reggae music and not just necessarily dance on music. Mm. And giving strength, giving strength back to music with with message or music that does make you feel joyful. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so yeah. Um, in, inspiration from the past, inspiration from the now. Yeah, uh, yeah. For real. So, I understand that you've worked with Beris Hammond. Yeah, man, it's a joy that um, Kojo, Kojo, <laughs> consider. 
family, you know, even yeah. when by its deeds was was being recorded, our studio was right across the hallway from from um Beres's office and, and management team and Harmony House record. Yeah. So they used to hear when it was a boy here when we were working on it and sticky in them head and say, Wow, so now go on <laughs> and um you know, to see to see Beres go for I was Beres again was one of my big inspiration in terms of of songwriting and vocals to me had the perfect combination Sorry. and to see to see where I got the opportunity to really you know come amongst him and get in the circle and to be so warmly accepted and then for it to get to the point where I even Beres had had this song that he had recorded and every time I would hear it I would hear it saying Beres so you know I thought that tune every tune but Till one day, she's like, well, if, you, if you love the tune so much, why in a voice it then? I mean, I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, and I ended up voicing the tune Friday, which, which isn't on this album, but it's available, has been available on a single now for, um, from Harmony House for a while, which, which is, a, you know, even just to know that I got to sing a song that Beres wrote yeah. and that, and that Beres voiced me and coached me during that, that voicing experience, um, that is that thing I, w- I will never forget. And as my son always like his family, was in, was in London the other day, I went to every show that he was, was at yeah. in London, you know, and that, that's because I was expected to be there, you know what I mean? For real. And um, yeah, man, I, I want to tell you, to me, he is, he is one of Jamaica's living legends. Um, I feel so even with the even with the great ratings of Berry's get I still feel so I'm underrated. Yeah. <laughs> get him fair get more ratings and I don't I don't have to, I don't have to preach Berry's to nobody, especially especially fans in, in London because you see the the support whenever he comes this side of the world and it is such a joy to to count him as a brethren. Yeah. And you know, and to have worked with him is even a greater joy. For real, and the same with you've um, worked with Third World as well. Well, in terms of Third World, no. Um, our next good, good brethren, Rupert Brent the Third, who was okay. in Third World, um, wrote hits for Third World. It was just again just a, a bona fide brethren, and was it's somebody who who loved my song, loved loved the type of music I was doing. And, we got a chance to um to work together and make the track just sent. Yeah. Which which to me is is just an awesome track. It shows a, it shows a little bit of versatility. Whereas you know the whole album isn't just straight roots rock. This have a this have a dancehall almost poppy sound in terms of the the music, but the message is still consistent. You know and. And again, to be able to work with musical geniuses like that um, is, is amazing. Whenever I do acoustic sets, yeah. especially in Jamaica, um, it will usually just be Rupert on the guitar and me on the vocals and, and we have a ball, you know. So again, it's a blessing to, to always have had great musicians around me. Um, you know, people like Dean Fraser, who, who was an integral part of By His Deeds. We were here playing the saxophone on that yeah. track. Um, not only did he play sax, but he helped in production and helped to voice me as well. Um, you know, I, I was lucky to, to, to have known musicians like, like 809 Band and, and Rough Cut and, and most of the, 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 the more popular musicians that you had yeah. in Jamaica from from long time. So all of them had some some part to play, some influence. I could always call on on musicians and they would they would come running and um again with the song that we give thanks for and the, the the overall sound that is on this album wouldn't have been possible without without the help of so many of these musicians, you know? For real. So do you, do you, as an artist, appreciate musicians? Or do you think it's actually dying out or it's getting better? What do you think as an artist? Well, I will, I will tell you personally. Yeah. I always feel 
that my shows are ten times better <clears throat> with a band. Yeah. With a proper band who is, who, who is prepared to, to play my music versus singing on tracks. And I, f I find that, I find that many of the newer artists don't mind them, you know, them, if, if it's them alone up front and them singing on tracks, it's fine by them. But, but I grew up in an era where, where live music and big reggae bands were the order of the day. Yeah. And just to know that, that vibration that you get from musicians, especially on stage, um, it can be beat, yeah. you know? So, so, so as, as far as I'm concerned, um, to me, they are definitely appreciate love. You can, you know, it, your, your show is much better with musicians than without. And again, when you look at the new generation, you will see um, Chronics, Chronics insists that he performs only with his band. Yeah. Protégé insists the same thing. I'm not so sure with coffee, but, but, but chances are that is the case as well. So it lets me know that they are also seeing that this thing has great value. Okay. And even, even in the studio, may I tell you, my sister, when you have musicians in the studio, or when you have your tune and your idea, you know, I am not a musician, so they are bringing certain technical skill and knowledge to the thing and can tell you, say, all right, I hear what you want to do with the bass line there, you know, but it's really so it should have played. And you say, ah, oh, yes, see that? Yeah. So, so, you know, they, they, they add to the entire experience. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not knocking people who, you know, there's, there's some little, there's people now who are able to, build tracks just by them themselves without calling in musicians. That's fine. I think they are musicians in themselves as, as well, you know, but it, it's something that you need to be immersed in, you need to train yourself in, you need to develop your skills and your ear in to be able to produce music that is going to stand the test of time, you know? Yeah, man. For real. So... Yeah. So you've cur you're currently or you on a I've finished a project an album. Tell the people the name of this album that's about to be released. Yeah, man, this album is called Jacent. Okay. A collection a collection of eleven tracks, as I said, including um, the newly remastered um, by his deeds. And again, this is it, it's available um, on Sky Ride Records. Yeah. We, have to give, we have to give a major shout out to Jerry Kandaya okay. um, of Skyride Records for, for really putting in the hours, um, working alongside me to, to select what we thought were the best 11 tracks for this album, making sure that all of them sounded crystal, you know what I mean? Um, and the official launch of the album is going to be June 20th. And to, to mark this occasion, we're going to be having a live album launch event the night of June 20th at Hootananit, Brixton. Okay. The famous, you're right, the famous premier live reggae venue in London. And come, come midnight, or come 12, 12 one on, on the 21st, the album will be available on all major digital outlets worldwide. Yeah. So I'm always curious with um, artists and how they come to um, an album name because it's quite a big thing. So how did you come up with that name for the album? Well, really, because there was there was all these songs on the album that we figured out in here. The, any one of these songs could be the name of the album, but then I didn't I didn't want to double up like that because I didn't want to put any one tune under pressure that has been the title tune yeah. for the album. But I kept I kept coming back to the tune Jasen, or the long title is Jasen Mifa. Yeah. Because that, that tune basically to me describes who VC is to, to the people. And I'm like, yeah, this, to me, this album is kind of doing the same thing. So 
I never want to use back the same Jasen. I say, but Jasen. Yeah. And it's not the sound, it's not the sound bossy or anything <laughs> like that to say, well, I'm saying I am Jasen. But if, if you're looking at it from the concept of, I, am, I really honestly believe I'm coming from a source or a place of, of goodness. I believe so, my creator, yeah. Yeah, Belief in goodness above above all things, and I'm trying to represent that to the best of my ability. So just send, yeah. The message them is all just sent. Are just responsible for these messages, because none of these messages is anti-life. Yeah. And to me, to me, that is what positivity is all about. You know, so that was all. That was all the name really came about. I thought it was short and sweet and to the point and let yeah. everybody know what may I deal with. And um yeah, it's now for the album to go out there and really make a name for itself, you know? Yeah ma'am. So would you be up for giving a little flavour of the album live on air now? <laughs> <laughs> on the well, spot <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, for the for all of the for all of the valued listeners out there that have been living I've been listening to DJ Cat for the longest while and never miss her show. We're just going to give you a little preview of the tune called Rise that is available on the new VC album entitled Jacent Zim. Rise, say rise, nothing's going to hold back. I and I from rise. Say I rise. I rise, Babylon can hold I and I from rise. Hey, listen, this a fit day youths in the struggle, grinding nine to five or in the streets, them a hustle. We use brains and not just muscle. Listen to mama so them stay out of trouble. Just remember, say you're born a star. Loving at your heart, so you must reach far. It's all you finish, is not all you start. So tell the haters, them go choke up. And go on, rise. Say, rise. Nothing's gonna stop DJ Cat tonight. From rise. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> Bless up, Master. Yeah, man. So. Yeah, man. Bless up. <laughs> For real. So, we're coming to the last few minutes of the interview. All the young people that are listening to you right now, what would you say to the young people coming up that, that want to do either music, producing, stage show, anything like that? What would you say to them? The first thing I would tell you is uh, there is music, there is business, and then there is music business. And music business is a rough and rocky and mucky road, so be prepared. It has to be something that chooses you. You don't choose it. It has to be something where all when the whole world turn against you and telling you don't do it, you find say you must have to do it or else your your soul is not at peace. If that isn't not where your headspace is before you go into this music thing and you think it's a easy way to riches and fame, you're going to get disappointed and when things get rough, you're going to find it easy to drop out. That's the first thing. Yeah. The next thing is that, yeah, the next thing, remember that this thing is a skill, it's a craft. So anything that is a skill and a craft needs dedication and it needs you to devote time to it to be the best at it that you can be. So you have to be willing to dedicate that time and effort into it. And then the last thing I would have tell you is uh, always, 1,000%, be true to yourself and make what you produce and put out there as music as a true reflection of you and what you wanted to do, not necessarily what others told you to do or to be following a style or a fashion. Yeah. Go up there with your thing and stand up strong for your thing and put the best of yourself into your thing yeah. and make us work. Um, yeah, ma'am. You know, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to speak to me. I really enjoyed our interview. Yeah, man. Bless up DJ Cat. Anytime, you know, Arawak Radio, we give thanks for the support, you know, because without, you know, we would just be 
music stuck on own like a hard drive, you know what I mean? So yeah. we give thanks, we give thanks a hundred percent, you know? Yeah man, for real. If you ever need a DJ <laughs> Yeah, yeah man, no, no doubt, because although I say, you know, some prefer the live band, but you know that there are times when that is not just not possible, you know, so yeah. who knows, stand by. Yeah, man, <laughs> so once again, give thanks for taking the time to talk to me. If any music that you have, please do send it my way and I'll play it on the radio for you anytime. Yeah, man, you're supposed to have everything, and if I haven't sent you everything yet, just let me know. I will send it to your ASAP. Yeah, man. All right. Cool. Bless up. All right. Bless up. Bless. Have a, have a good cool. evening. See you later. Same to you. Same to you. All right, DJ. Cool. Bless up. Bless. Yes, people. So, if you enjoyed that interview, if you liked it, make sure you go and support VC. Let him know about the album when you hear it on the 20th of June. Go and check him out, okay? Hear some of his old school stuff as well. Some nice stuff on there. So, this one, once again, is by his deeds. Check it out, okay? If you didn't hear it the first time. Here we go. <laughs> 